There is literally gonna be so much friction over this video, it's, it's gonna be unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. What's up guys, Dan Wolak here with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Now the reason there's gonna be a lot of friction with this video is because we're making a bench that's held together with just friction. It's gonna be awesome. So you're only gonna need a few things. If you wanna be real awesome, you can just get one saw and just use that. That's all you really need. I'm gonna add an ax to the mix. Um, that's gonna help me tremendously. Plus I like to use my ax. And then you're gonna need a bunch of sticks. Now you can also grab some rope or grab a friend that's gonna make it easier and you'll see why in a little bit. But um, I'm gonna just go ahead with my saw and my ax and I'm gonna start cutting. So the first thing we need for a bench is four legs, right? But, but hold on, hold on. Before I grab those four legs, um, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes that's gonna pique your curiosity and creativity. So if you like my channel, you're definitely going to like Skillshare. You can learn a whole variety of cool things from photography to just how to be more efficient in your life. And the cool thing with it that um, I think a lot of people overlook is they think right away, oh, it's just this skill that's real dull, and it's not. It's, it's almost like this channel, right? Fun, exciting. And one example of that, and I talked about him in the past, is a content producer on there called Aaron Draplin. Now, Aaron goes through different creative processes. He's a designer. Um, he talks about everything from sourcing material to making samples to actual final products and how to do everything in between. But what's cool about Skillshare and what I like is that you actually get to know the creators. So Aaron did a video recently um, designer in a van and he is a van I have a van so it's like an instant connection there the same as you watch me in the woods you love to go in the woods it's like man we we love Dan <laughs> So you get to check out like Aaron's background, um, what he's all about, why he's doing what he's doing, and then it, it enhances the videos itself when you watch part of his playlist. But outside of him, there's just thousands of other videos you can watch. So what's cool is that when you click the link below, Skillshare is offering a free trial um, for the first thousand people who click that link. And then after that, it's only 10, about 10 bucks a month, so it's not breaking the bank, and you get to learn a lot of cool stuff. So you not only get to watch Cole Cracker here, but then you get to go over there and, and learn some awesome stuff to enhance your life in YouTube and all your social media and share all these crazy outdoors experiences with us. So click that link below and uh, thanks Skillshare for the sponsor. Now I got to get the legs for the bench. Okay, so we have our tree now. We're gonna cut our legs. Now what you need to remember with the height of the legs is that it's not just from the ground straight up. There's gonna be some splay to them this way. So um, add a little bit of length to it. So in my case, if I put my, my buck saw on the ground and I think my height, I'm gonna add a little bit to that and it's gonna be an easy measurement. So the buck saw plus a fist is gonna be more than enough for me. So that's what we're gonna go with. Okay, so all four legs are now cut. Um, we're gonna move on to the next part and that is creating a notch in each one of the one, two, three, four legs, okay? I'm just killing the woods here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide um, what end we want down. So in, in my case, this end here has a little bit more knot and stuff to it, so we're gonna put this down on the ground. And this end right here, we're gonna cut a seven notch. Now this seven notch is going to be part of the friction fit. So it's important that every one of the four legs has very similar notches in them, okay? Try to keep them as even um, as possible. The seven notch itself, what we're looking at is the straight part of the seven notch is gonna be here, okay, towards the top. And then it's going to taper out towards the bottom of the leg. It's important because if you put that in backwards, you ruined your entire leg. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do that on every single of the four legs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin my cut. I wanna make sure that this is nice and straight. This again is the top of the leg. So I'm gonna just take my time, make sure I get a nice, straight, clean cut through this. Okay. 
okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I can either take my saw, if I'm using saw only, and finish off this wedge, or what I can do, in my case, is I'm gonna stand this up, and I'm gonna begin to chop this seven notch out, okay? Now again, you wanna be careful as you do this, so you don't split out the end of your leg, or you're gonna be back to square one with it, but think about that initial cut as your stop cut. So all I'm doing right now, is coming in here and cutting this seven notch out. I want to continue this process until I get about a third of the way into this piece of wood. So right where my saw line stops is where I'm gonna stop. Now what you're going to see is that my seven notch is complete. So it's flat, closer to the top, and then it's beveled out towards the bottom of the leg. Do this on every single leg. Looking good. Okay, so every leg now has the seven notch cut into it. So we're good to go with that. The next part of this project is going to be the actual bench part that you sit on. Now, you can use sticks, logs, whatever you wanna use for that um, would be fine. What I'm gonna use though is a board that we had laying around here at the school that we made. So this isn't a store-bought board, this is something that a student hewed out and it's been around, so we're gonna utilize this to sit on, it's gonna make it look a little bit nicer, but you can definitely replace this with two or three um, sticks across here in order to sit on this. Now, what's important with this next step is that you get your measurement somewhat right. If you mess this up, um, your legs are gonna be too straight up and down and it's not gonna friction fit the way that it should. So how you're actually gonna do this measurement, I'm gonna try to support all this here and show you, is you're gonna get whatever it is um, that you're gonna sit on and look at that thickness. Now, this top notch is gonna face inward, okay? So it's facing the seated part and this leg towards the end is going to lean in. So when this leg leans in, okay, we need to put another seven notch on this back side. So if you put your hand here and sort of pinch it and find out that angle there, okay, um, this is where we need to cut our line to put our another seven notch, okay? So again, um, I know that might sound a little confusing for everybody. We have our seven notch here, right? The board that we're sitting on. We put our hand here, put the seven notch on our hand like we're pinching our hand, and lean the leg out, okay? When we lean the leg out, the back side of this leg is gonna get another seven notch. So opposite this seven notch, but it's going to be reversed. So when I say that, we have our seven notch here. We get that measurement, hand in, everything, we lean it out we find this spot here. Now that spot right now means nothing to you, but what you're going to do is you're gonna cut a straight line down into it like I did on this one right here. So you can see that straight line now. So that would be that mark that I made with my second hand, okay? I cut in with my saw. Now, this seven notch here is gonna be reverse this. So it needs to be the opposite side and the flat section is gonna be at the bottom of the leg. So flat section is at the top here. Flat section is gonna be the bottom. We're gonna taper inward from here down, okay? So it is gonna give a perception that this middle section right here is gonna be thinned out a little bit. And that's gonna be okay because all this friction is gonna hold it together and it's gonna be fine. So flat section here, chop this in with your ax and you'll be good to go. And then with quick work of an ax, this is what you're looking at. So we have our top notch Okay, top seven notch here, and then we have our bottom seven notch here. Okay, so it's gonna work out really well. Um, once you get this in place, the next thing that you're going to need is four tension cross members. Now for your cross sticks, um, they don't have to be real big. Okay, about an inch in diameter, uh, maybe a little bit more, but not much more, not much less. So about an inch is gonna work perfectly. The length of these need to be wider than whatever you're gonna be sitting on. So if you were using multiple logs here um, for the seat of your bench, then you would have to measure accordingly. For me, you could see I have about a fist on each side of this um, widthwise. Now, with this piece, I just split them out. I flattened out the back side of each split, 
and then each split I took my axe and I just smoothed out the side to take that little bit of roundness off. Okay, I did that on two different sticks that created my four cross members. Now your balancing axe is gonna come into play. So you have to play around with this a little bit. Um, don't get overly frustrated with it. Um, have a good time with it. That's why we're out here to begin with, right? So um, what we wanna do is that top seven notch is gonna face the main part of the bench. Okay, so we're gonna have to stand these two up and then the bench itself, try to position somewhere maybe on your knee or something like that. I'm gonna start with the back cross member. Um, I'm gonna place that on here, okay? However it seems like it fits the best. And then I'm going to slide my bench over it. So right now, my bench is just sort of up there, okay? Now I'm gonna take my front cross member and I'm gonna put that in place. And then what I'm gonna do is try to balance all this and start to lean everything forward okay see how it's all sliding out on me so you got to play around with it a little bit start to lean this forward so everything starts to bite and grab kick the legs back a little bit see where everything's working there for you and you should get to the point you're gonna feel those cross member sticks sliding into action okay um, and where they're gonna bite best so once that bites just like that Okay, what you can then notice is I can lift this up and the friction itself is holding that side in. Now I need to do the exact same thing on this side. This is where the balancing act comes into play because any kind of deviation back and forth with that side now is gonna somewhat maybe knock that apart. So just be careful with it. If you have a second person, it's gonna work even better, okay, to be able to do this. They can hold it in place. If you wanna trick it a little bit, get some um, just rope and tie some rope around that, then you can pull the rope off and it'll work. Um, otherwise, just try to balance it out and I think you'll be good. So, uh, get this one in place. Get this one in place. And now, can I just feed this across? Would be perfect. Can Dan do it? Come on, Dan, balance that out like a trapeze artist. I guess the trapeze artists do that, right? So I'm gonna let that start to settle in, pull that back. And right there, my friction held bench is in place. Came out pretty good. So you can see, sitting on it, okay? Friction's holding everything fine. Um, just check your adjustments in here so nothing's too loose and uh, you should be pretty good with it. So there's a bushcraft friction bench for you, right off the landscape. Of course, my center board was something I had, but now if you think of two logs in place of that, um, you can accomplish the same thing. You just gotta make sure your spacing is correct there um, and you'll be good to go. So a fun project that teaches you a lot of cool stuff, um, not only material selection, but it makes you really hone in on cutting those seven notches correctly and cutting them straight. And then it also makes you just think about construction in general, which is a huge part of bushcraft out here, being able to um, figure this stuff out. So again, ax and saw only, you can definitely get the job done really nice and easily. Here you go, my friends, 230 pounds of just friction holding this thing together. Um, again, a cool little project. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a fun time building it. Just get those angles right and uh, you'll have yourself a nice bench for a camp. You'll impress all your friends for sure with this one. So this was Dan Wolak with Coldcracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and don't forget to click that link below. Um, and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Till the next one, stay in the woods on your friction bench.